Welcome back to the video series that goes along with my six-week math prep workbook. I'm Mandy Bolster, and I developed this workbook for students to use as they're getting ready for the math section of the ACT. If you're following along with this video series, based on our recommended start of six weeks from the test date, ACT time is almost upon you. This is our final video in the series, and we hope you're almost ready to take this test. Today, I just want to remind you of a few things as we're coming up upon the night before the ACT. Have all your pencils and erasers ready so you can just pick them up as you head out the door. You need number two pencils because it's a bubble-in machine graded test. Have your calculator with your pencils and make sure your calculator is charged if it needs to be. I've heard stories of students' calculators dying during the test because they weren't charged up. They don't supply them to you at the test site, so make sure yours is ready. Have your test entry ticket ready. You can print this from the ACT.org site where you registered or from the email they sent you and a picture ID, like your license. Have all this ready with your pencils and calculator. Again, if you don't have an ID, they aren't going to let you in. If you think you'll get hungry, pack a small snack and or water for you to have during one of the breaks. Having all these things together and ready for you to grab as you head out the door in the morning will make the morning go so much smoother than if you have to scramble around finding everything. And finally, at this point, I don't think it really helps you at all to cram. It may even hurt you and get you more confused. Hopefully, you've been preparing along the way and you're just ready to go and do your best. If you don't feel you've prepared enough, that's a lesson to remember for the next time. Okay, so now you go and take the test and then you're finished, right? Well, not necessarily. If you think you'll take the test again, keep on practicing. How much you do continue prepping right now can depend on how much time you have before the next test that you take. If it's months away, you may can take a little break, but if it's days or weeks, don't lose your momentum. Find practice questions online, in your math books, or check out more resources I have on teachmathwithme.com. You can always go back through the workbook, especially the blitz questions. I always recommend that my students do a debrief after the test. If not the day of the test, do this the next day while everything's fresh on your mind. Make some notes about some questions that confused you or gave you some problems. If you plan to take the test again, you'll want to review these problem areas. And there's always more math topics to review. Were there any that you didn't get to review before this last test? Take this opportunity now to practice any areas that you need help in. Plus, keep up on your basic skills. As we wrap up, I'm not going to wish you good luck because this test is not about luck. You've worked hard in getting ready for it. Now go and do your best. Leave us any questions in the comments below. And I wish you all the best on this test and in all your future endeavors. To get your own copy of the six-week math prep workbook, visit my website, teachmathwithme.com. Click on the link for the six-week math prep workbook. You can grab a free sample to try it out. Scroll down and click on the button, Download Free Sample. Give me your email address and I'll send it on over to you. If you're ready to go ahead and get a paperback version, you can get the workbook from Amazon in a traditional workbook form with a glossy cover. It will be mailed to you by Amazon. You can also get a Kindle version from Amazon, but you won't be able to print this one out. To download and print your own copy of the workbook, back on my website, go to the Resources tab, and that will take you to my Teachers Pay Teacher store. With this version, you can print a copy out on a personal printer or send it to a print shop. I like to specify spiral bound for my local printer. Get this version here. You can find all these links, a free sample, and more info at my website, teachmathwithme.com. Look for all the links you need in the description as well.